This video will introduce you to layers in AutoCAD LT. Layers appear and act in the same manner in AutoCAD as other CAD and design programs, in that these are essentially stacked transparent layers on top of the drawing board. Layers are fundamentally used to better organize the design workspace and provide greater flexibility with modifying the design. In that if we look at the layer tab, which is provided in the screen here, and we can extend it there, Otherwise, with selecting layer properties where it will open up the palette and making sure you can hide the auto, uh, sorry, auto hide the palette or have it so it's always visible. We can uh, look at AutoCAD, we can simply hide and show layer details. So if I select the walls, that will be these thick outlines here and I turn off the globe there. We can see it's going to obviously be visible or hidden by uh, illuminating the light globe. We'll look at some additional features shortly. With going through and creating layers, because upon opening your layer palette, you'll have zero and def points, and we'll get to them shortly. But in creating layers, you're going to be selecting this icon here, new layers or alt N. And so that will look like um, three stacked pages with a little sun in the bottom right hand corner. To go through and delete layers, you're selecting the delete layer icon. As I mentioned, notice that zero and def point layers are present and these cannot be deleted. So they are required to be in all AutoCAD files. With your floor plan, I suggest you arrange your layers the same way as I've gone for your, my, for your floor plan and any additional elevations. Arranging layers is via alphabetical and numerical and cannot be rearranged like other programs. So that is why I have layers in terms of from 0, 1 through to 0, 7. Which one is the most important and least important will be assigned to 0, 7. So notice I've got the interior and exterior walls on one layer, doors and windows and cabinets, dimensioning title block and text, permanent furniture and accessories. So that would be if we we're moving in, this is the furniture that's permanently there. Move in furniture, so what will you be bringing uh, with you? Uh, paths and structures, so that's more exterior and overall flooring treatment, which I haven't provided on this one, but you might be assigning carpet to carpeted areas and then tiles to um, the kitchens and the laundry sort of areas. You may wish to pause the video now and create and name your layers um, for your floor plan. You can double click on the name and then go through and name them accordingly. Going through and locking layers, so as I mentioned before, we can illuminate them, so turning them on and off. We can also go through and be locking layers. So this is very helpful in that objects on that layer will be locked from selection and won't be able to be selected. So once you've finished off a layer, you might go through and lock that so no selections can be made there. The next is what we consider and is called plot. And so plot is a large scale printer. Layers can be plotted or printed. This is very useful feature when publishing a design when the intended audience or purpose of the design is strongly considered in that plans can be quickly tailored to set trades personnel, especially architects. They're going to be dealing with lots of different trades and these trades aren't necessarily communicating uh, between one another. They're all going to the project manager or to the architect. So we can think about for an electrician, they need to have a specified um, Floor plan that's just going to have all the electrical work that's needed. And same thing with plumbing, all the piping and water sourcing that's needed. This is this thereby where irrelevant information um, isn't shown and therefore providing greater clarity uh, to minimize mistakes by those different personnel because they do become very detailed uh, floor plans. Next we have is color. And so color is how it appears on screen and not necessarily the color when printed. This can be applied later, but is for more advanced AutoCAD users. So this once again is just to be able to differentiate between different layers, we can be assigning different colors. So let's go with um, 
Let's go with move in furniture. Maybe we can change that to something a bit more of a brighter color. And so notice that everything that we're moving in is now a lot more visible. Next is the line type. Mostly you're going to be keeping it as a solid or continuous line. The other option is a broken line. This is really just used to indicate the property boundary or the roof over. So that be where eaves or verandas extend beyond the walls. Getting towards the end is the line weight. I consider this to be one of the most important features of the layer palette as a floor plan can be very complex diagrams of lines and text. Having the availability of changing the line weight provides the opportunity to organize and assign a visual hierarchy via the use of a line weight or thickness. So this provides greater differentiation. So a outer wall and interior walls you might have set at 0.8. And so we can go through and change that. Whereas uh, title block information and dimensioning, you might be having set at 0.2. Next area is transparency. So note that zero is 100% visible and 90 or 100 is getting towards invisible. So it can be a little bit counterintuitive. Mostly you're gonna want your transparencies at 100. But in terms of areas where there's hatching, maybe you wanna change the transparency so it's just a little bit softer and it's not too, um, too sort of overwhelming compared to the rest of the uh, floor plan. The noticeable difference in AutoCAD compared to other design programs is that color line weight is defined by the layer and not the individual line or objects. As I went through and showed before, drawings can be easily assigned to layers in that making, going through and selecting objects and then changing the layer that they have been assigned to. So we notice that the colors change and now those designs are now present on the flooring area. I'll undo that so I don't make a mistake. Hopefully this has been a helpful introduction to Lays and AutoCAD. Thanks very much.